Are you tired of dealing with slow networks, mystery cable issues, or Wi-Fi dead zones? Imagine having the right tools to troubleshoot and fix any network problem like a pro. In this video, we'll reveal the must-have tools every IT support technician needs from crimping perfect RJ45 cables to detecting faulty connections in seconds. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced tech, these essential tools will save you time, effort, and frustration. Stick around because mastering these could make you the go-to expert in your team. Network Tools In this course, we're going to talk about the different tools that an IT support technician can use. The crimping tool and we start with the crimping pliers. It is a pair of pliers that allows the RJ to be crimped. For example, a network cable is composed of a cable with inside four pairs of two wires, an RJ45 plug at both ends. Well, the RJ clamp allows you to connect the eight wires inside the RJ45 plug. There are also connectors that are smaller than RJ45s, which are called RJ12. In general, the crimping tool also allows you to connect this type of plug. In the image, we can see that we have a slot for the RJ45s, represented by the symbol 8P for 8 connection points, but also just to price the 6 points for the RJ12. As you can see, the RJ12 has 6 connection points, i.e. and you can connect 6 wires, i.e. and 3 pairs. Here is an image that shows you the difference in size between an RJ45 and an RJ12. You can clearly see the connection points, represented by the metal pins. There is also the RJ11, which is a four-point connection plug for two peers. It is mainly used for modems. Note that with the crimping pliers, you can also strip the network cable with the cutting blades just below the places where the network plug is inserted. Multimeter. Let's move on to the multimeter, which is not only reserved for electricians. The multimeter, or tester, is a device that allows electrical measurements to be taken. Where network technicians mainly use it is on the continuity test. This makes it possible to check if wires or electronic components are touching. Speaking of loops, there is also the pager, which allows you to follow the continuity of the wires. It is also a tool that is widely used by telephone technicians because it allows them to follow the telephone lines that have been transplanted to different locations. The telecom technician's pager is like a footballer's ball. It is the essential tool of the telecom's business, cable tester. For support technicians, the tool that will be used is the cable tester. Thanks to this tool, you are able to know if the wires you have just connected with the RJ pliers are in the right order at both ends, or if some wires are badly connected. For the time being, this tool is the essential tool of the support technician. Loopback Connector We have seen the equipment that allows us to identify defects on the cable, and now, we are going to see one that allows us to create a loop. This is the loop connector. It is a device which allows you to identify network problems, but also network card problems. It is an effective way to test the transmission capacity, but also the sensitivity of the receiver and network equipment. In fact, it will simulate network equipment to be able to do quality tests. For example, Internet operators use it very often to check the speed between the socket and the control panel. The striking tool. We are now going to move on to a rather particular tool, which is the striking tool. As its name suggests, it allows you to hit the wire, which will have the effect of pushing it inside the support. And the support is so small, when pushing it violently, the cable will strip automatically and allow the connection. This tool is widely used by telecom technicians to connect the telephone line to dispatch farms. Wi-Fi analysis. 
and to finish the course on the technician's tools, we go to the one that allows you to analyze the Wi-Fi. Software that analyzes the Wi-Fi allows. List the wireless networks around you. Have graphs on the quality of wireless networks. View clients connected to your Wi-Fi network. And even to indicate the Wi-Fi congestion on the channels, which is very useful to find the best channel to hang. On Google, you can find a Wi-Fi analysis software to do tests directly from home.